low I'm on the facts of Mars and this is Mitt Romney video Mitt Romney did a speech where he just lambasted Trump calling him fraud and a liar interesting uh, 2012 he was more than happy to take Trump's endorsement now, Rip, Mitt Romney is once known as a rhino. You may have noticed I used a new update theme. Eventually, I want to have a entire playlist. Rhinos. Rhino, rhino. Rhino stands for Republican in name only, which is exactly what Mitt Romney is. He viciously attacked Trump, calling him a fraud, a fake. So he's playing us all for fools. Well, I got news for you. Trump actually cares about this country. I'm certain of that. I think he has a genuine love of this country. I'm sure he has his own agenda. But I can't expect him not to. I would hope he has an agenda. If that's the only way to stop Trump, it makes sense. Underlying clash is bleak reality for panicking Republican officials. Beyond harsh words, there's little they see to stop Trump's march towards presidential nomination. See, they're working against the will of the people. Who does that? Barack Obama. Party leaders are pouring over complicated, delicate math outlays and hairy sea scenarios for contested national convention and even flirting with the idea of a third party effort. See, they'll do anything they can to undermine Donald Trump because they are supporting Hillary Clinton. The same thing that I mentioned with Shannon Joy. She's uh, supporting Hillary Clinton for president. And they do it in a roundabout way. They want to take out front leader, and then they'll go after Cruz, but they don't have to do much to tear Cruz down. He just doesn't have the dynamics that Trump does. I'm not a huge fan of Donald Trump, but I think he's the best one for the job. He's an experienced manager. Yes, he's had business failures, but you don't go into business without having some failures. That's the way... The cookie crumbles. That's just the way it is. So, another idea rumbling through the power corridors in Washington was prospect of a late 30 party candidate to represent more mainstream conservatives, which means the good old boys club. Four years ago, we am going to highlight this. Well, computers are not cooperating. Four years ago, Trump stood side by side with Romney in Las Vegas, with Trump saying it was a real honor and privilege to endorse Romney's White House bid. Romney at the time praised Trump's ability to understand our, how our economy works and create jobs for the American people. On Thursday, Trump said Romney was begging me for an endorsement that year. I could have said Mitt dropped to your knees, he would have dropped to his knees, Trump said. So, Mitt Romney is basically turned on Trump. Well, he's turn the, you gotta understand, these people work together. The Republicans and Democrats are working together. They want to keep the good old boys network going no matter what. Then along comes Trump, and he says... Screw you, people. I'll do what I want. This is why we like him. He's, he has his own agenda. He's going to tell the party bosses, Hey, take a hike. You don't like it? Too bad. I like that in a person. This is why I support Trump. I think he would whip the tar out of Hillary. That's what I'm thinking. Now, they're going to do everything they can. Uh, Democrats and the Republicans are united against Trump. And they are united in their support of Hillary. That's the bottom line. 
I don't care how much you complain. If you're ruthless, at this point, if you're ruthlessly going after Trump, the way these people have been doing, uh, then you're supporting Hillary. They want Hillary. They would love to have Hillary. They, in fact, these Republicans have openly stated that. That Trump is the enemy, not Hillary. They've openly stated they want, they would prefer Hillary over Trump. Many of them have. These are the rhinos. They are big time liberals. They're, you know, they're two peas in a pot. Uh, I don't know how to put this. It's, but they're just basically working together. That's the bottom line. The Republicans are working with the Democrats. We're working with the Republicans, and we're working with the Democrats to keep the good old boys network together. And if Trump comes along, he'll screw them up. He'll implement his own agenda, and he will set them back quite a ways. That's what we want. As Wild Bill for America put it, Trump is the bull in the China shop that we've been waiting for for some time. I like that. Well, let's look at this. Uh, from Ryan. Let's look at this from Paul Ryan. During his Press Hill, Capitol Press Hill Conference, Capitol Hill Press Conference, Ryan dismissed comments Trump made this week that if the Wisconsin Republican didn't get along with him, Ryan would pay a big price. Just laughed out loud, Ryan told reporters, sometimes reality is stranger than fiction around here these days. The speaker added that conservatism is being disfigured by some of Trump's ideas and statements. Well, you sir are a rhino. Voters so far have not responded to such warnings. This is all politics, but the Democrats and Republicans are working together to install Hillary. That's what the bottom line is. They're not here to defeat Hillary at all. Republicans, I mean. They're working together. This was decided a long time ago. Then along comes Trump and says, hey, screw you people. I'm a little stunned that Elizabeth Warren didn't try to make a run, but she didn't, so what can I say? Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. The Republicans are working with the Democrats to install Hillary as queen. That's the way it is. It's disgusting. Mitt Romney is a major, major rhino. They're going to try to steal an election from Trump any way they can so they can continue with the good old boys in that work. Meantime, the country continues heading downhill. No matter of fact, tomorrow, thanks for watching.